Alright guys, and welcome back. Sorry for the rather dull looking view at the very beginning of this episode, but we have traveled all the way. I say all the way, it wasn't that far away. To the Churchill Library. Uh, because we're on this quest to find the crystalline photon agitator. I'm feeling a little agitated myself. My, one of my favorite Churchill quotes though, I will bore you with for a moment. I was at a, a dinner party, Winston Churchill and some of his political friends. Winston had a few drinks, and this woman says to him, Oh, Winston, you drunk again? But madam, you are ugly, but I shall be sober in the morning. What a wonderful quote. What a put down. Okay, um... We're heading in here give me that give me that agitator for the for the guy we found in the basement basically where the hell is it oh it's down there well i i don't have a shovel we're gonna have to find another way down hmm interesting we've got to find a hole in the ground and it's not this but i will take the opportunity to pick a lock ah easier said and done Nine mil pistol. Ooh, nice. I think that's the first nine mil I've got. Oh, it's right here. It was on the desk the whole time. Oh, well, that was straightforward. All right, well, uh, very quick side quest. Let's just head straight back then. Now, if you remember, this is a quest to do a quest for a quest. I'm beginning to lose count. But thankfully, Bullet Tooth Anthony is probably going to set me up what here. What do you want? What do I want? I've only gone and got the bloody thing you asked for, mate. Ah, lovely jubbly. Give it here, and I can get it cleared up. Here we are. A fully restored Upton Burke Class C laser rifle. Ain't it a beaut? Absolute shite that keeps breaking after ten shots, mind. But it'll bugger up anything it hits before then. <laughs> ten shots? Now, you had some gizmo you wanted patched up. And it here, and I'll sort it for you. Let's see. Out with the old, in with the new. I can tidy these frayed wires too. This is quite the old bit of junk Nelson's hanging on to. Well, it's all fixed. But it looks like the battery is knackered. Oh, here we I've go. I've got none of the right sort here, but Johnny Shrapnel should have him in spades. Oh dear lord. He's usually hanging out back by the chem station. My right. Mother, okay, so we, we, we're not quite there yet. Ask like Johnny Shrapnel. Other ways. Johnny Shrapnel. Do you have a battery? I love the name, I've got to say. Good old Johnny. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay. I'm never going to remember the way down here. Right, Johnny Shrapnel. Aye, aye. If it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you up? That's a nice way to talk to me. What do they, why do they call you Johnny Shrapnel? I'm, I'm guessing you've got a few pieces of metal buried in there somewhere. It's because of this little beauty I've got lodged in my skull. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But that's just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. No pain, no pain. Eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. God, that'd be the worst, isn't it? You know, never mind getting, never mind getting a bit of shrapnel in your noggin. It's it's also based on lead. It's a slow death. Um, I need to find a battery to fix Blind Nelson's radio because, oh, because I have to. Okay, Bullet Tooth said you could help. Could help, sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Listen, give oh me an my. with something delicate. Yeah, I'll see what I can. I've got to calm down. You. Mickey's been having a barney at me for blowing up his hat. And yes, yes, I did blow up his app. And don't you mind how or why. But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth. Right? Well, fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin it. Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? Make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. If you hang round, right, again. 
Um, we need a, the a quest for a quest for another another quest. Deliver Johnny's apology gift. I still can't steal anything from here. But what about the meds? Ah, oh, damn it. All right then, let's get out of here. This is this is what to what is to be expected. I know it feels a little tedious at first, but it's tit for tat for tat for tit. Come on. Hello, Gov. My name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? Yeah, you could stand still for a minute so I can get a good look. Wow, that is special. You have got the look. Johnny sent me. I said to give you this. Oh, oh, no, he said he blew up your hat, asked me to give this as an apology. Oh, there you go. So that trap little brain pillock thinks he can just fob me with some token. That was my favorite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. I'll be sure to deliver the message. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've got a, a skill check here. Come on, he's trying his best. That's definitely my best chance. Endurance, no. Give 20 tickets to pay for it. Uh, or is there nothing I can do? Right, I'm going for the charisma check. I loaded up on charisma at the beginning of the game, and now I'm glad I did. He's really, really sorry, and he really, really means it. Does he really? That's pretty new for Johnny. Well, all right, then. I'll take his apology if it means that much to him. Thanks, Gov. <coughs> Thanks, Gov. Love it. Return to Johnny. Oh. <laughs> I've got to get out of this uh, pseudo accent that I keep putting on from time to time. Johnny Shrapnel, sir. Hey, you get Mickey to take the gift? I did. Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. I'm glad he didn't try to kill you. Oh, I've just realised. You wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here, and I'll see what I've got. Uh, you know, when I'm... This is old. Where do you even get something as tongue it as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of nine volts to get this to work. Uh, let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. I just realised that's the shrapnel in his head. I can't believe I missed it. I thought there was some Look kind of going. glitch in the game, like a leaf had got stuck Didn't there. But yeah. You better? That's Johnny shrapnel, all right. No one's been brave enough to remove it from him. But yeah, there's a lot of Cockney rhyming slang in this game that those of you that aren't familiar might be wondering what, what on earth is going on. Like Tommy Titty just said, it basically means shit. Uh, the old China, the old China plate means my mate. That wasn't pears, stairs. You know, my there's going to be loads of these. To be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. And it was a way in, in the, I think it was the First World War. Cockney rhyming slang really did spread. Oh, was it the, I don't know when it was. It might not have been in the war. But it was a way of, of, be, of for the working class to be able to talk amongst themselves that would disguise the language. Like bird's nest means chest. Apple and flute. Uh, sorry, no. Whistle and flute. Like when people say, oh, I'll put on a nice whistle. Or whistle and flute means a my suit. Mother, me a so it, there's all these rhyming slang. And I, I think it was just a way of disguising language so that others couldn't understand. And I don't know if it was a working class versus upper class thing or it was uh, oh, something else. But that's where it came from. It was a, it's a, it was kind of a code language that just got stuck in the culture of the East End. Right, Blind Nelson. You got the radio done up? Yeah, I hope so. Here it is. Mind you, to be honest, I could hand him anything right now, tell him it's a radio. He wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> you took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? Yes, yes. Well, better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, a little um, little problem here. I'm not, not quite sure he knows which way to look. To be fair, sure no no uh, offence. The execution of the vagabond prisoner will take place in Indiscan Square in Millwall. We're expecting a massive crowd, so we need all hands on deck. If you're IODS in Millwall, be there. We need the numbers. We're going to send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off! Why'd you even bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? Where's Yvette? She's the one who vouched for you. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. 
All right, Blind Nelson, I think we've we've mistaken the radio for Sputnik here. Look at the three probes on the end of it. Uh, what have I got to do? Are you really blaming me for what's on the radio? Are you kidding? Do you know what I went through to fix the flipping thing? It took me about five different tracks across the land and the pub. Actually, just the pub. Most of it. Just the pub. Uh, vet left. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I shouldn't laugh. She said she were going... She said she were going on some mission or something. Uh, I haven't seen Yvette since I first got here. Uh, are you blaming me for what's on the radio? You must have been listening in the next room before you brought it over here. How else would that news have been so perfectly timed? I'm on to you, Labrette. I don't like the way he's... I don't like the cut of his jib. I don't like the way he's talking to me. Are you kidding? Do you know what I went through to fix that damn radio? Oh no, did Baby have a hard time with their tinker toys? Why didn't you say so? Take a seat, I'll have one of the lads pour up a warm glass of milk to calm your delicate nerves. Where the hell is Yvette? Daycare is over. She's got to pick up her little ankle biter. Alright, come over here, I'm gonna poke you in the eye. Oh, that's, sorry, terrible joke. Yvette left! She said you, she was going on a mission. Oh shit, that's right. God damn it! Uh, what's wrong? Is Yvette in trouble? I would say there's a 90% chance that she's about to do something stupid and find herself knee-deep in shit. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Oh. Something much more important. Nicey, nicey. Now you need something. If it's for Yvette, I'm happy to help. Really? I don't know her that well. What kind of job? What's in it for me? No, do it yourself. A bit of DIY. Always good. Uh, what's what kind of job? It's for oh come on, let's just go for oh, it. I don't really how care. sweet! You're just a little sweetheart, aren't you? Yeah, thanks, mate. A little cutie pie that likes to cuddle up in a bubble bath. Do you and need write help their or not? Down in a diary, eh? <laughs> Dear diary, today I met a mean old ghoul with a knob the size of a cricket bat, and he bullied <laughs> me for loving the vet so goddamn much. Unnecessary detail I think I might in the middle have of that sentence. Cry about it? Is that you then? Rhetorical question: It is you. But you're all I've got at the moment, so I'm going to need you to load up your dainty purse with supplies and head to Millwall to make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. She's got roots there, and you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's going to make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring Yvette back in one piece, and I'll make it worth your while. Right, home, Millwall, home of the lions. Yeah, it's, it's a bit rough. Around the football club, there you don't you don't mess about. Don't call anybody names or nothing. And this guy, what did he say? He's got a knob the size of a cricket bat. I hope it's not the shape of a cricket bat. Well, okay, I guess I should say. Oh, oh I can't believe didn't I'm saying even this. Say goodbye. It got me stumped. Oh, <laughs> let's hope we don't kick him in the googlies. All right, you need to be cricket fans to know what that meant. Anyways, whatever. What if it's, uh, what's Yvette's history with the Syndicate? Anything in particular I should watch out for? Ooh, Millwall yeah. is absolutely lousy with Syndicate dogs. You can't throw a bloody rock without hitting one of them and it bouncing off and hitting a relative they're shagging. If they find <laughs> out you're with us, you'll be ripped apart by rabid dogs before you can say Bob's your uncle. You should be fine because you're a fucking nobody, but regardless, you should keep a low profile. I mean, I'm assuming if, if he says they're, they're all sort of interbred, they're all Chagging their relatives, Bob's your uncle is probably the most widely true statement in the whole of that part of town. What's Yvette's history? Do I care too much? Tell me more about them. All right, I mean, let's Brilliant. just go. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find Yvette. Tell her Blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. More bodies getting shite done never hurt anything. Okay, I don't know. Are we ready for this? Am I ready for this? I'm going to certainly F5 quick save as soon as I get outside to be ready for this. I'd like to say I'm as ready as I'll ever be, but that's clearly untrue. Well, at least we got one main sort of story quest or side questy thing done for these guys. I don't really know yet what is main story, what is side quest. I'm just going off what is presented to me at the time. I'm not I'm not in, well, what's the word? I'm not dissecting this uh, too much. I'm just going with the flow. Oh, well, 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 me old muckers. Looks like a nice warm night out. 
Uh, where am I going, actually? I might be able to fast travel a bit of the way. Uh, oh, okay, interesting. So we've got to head back over to Greenwich. Uh, fine. Uh, a welcome part of town. But he said got to go to the foot tunnel. All right. Let's go. Right in. Here we go. Thankfully. Daylight. Oh, a bit of red X. Very nice. All right, thankfully daylight is out. And I suppose I should prepare. This is my... Oh, look at this. It's like an old... I don't know, 9mm pistol, but it, it, to me it looks like something the Germans used in the war. Now what to expect, what to expect. I keep hitting the L1 button on my uh, controller here, because it's, it's like an early warning system. We've got, we got a little ways to go. Man. Oh, it's the DLR! The Docklands Light Railway. It's a bit like a roller coaster, that in some places. It really is. It's it, it has it, uh, it has its ups and downs, quite literally. Plenty of locations to explore as well. God, I'm almost sounding cockney myself. I can hear it. Getting so into the East End, can't help myself. All right, well, there's, there's there's people over there to probably interrogate, kill or uh, be a victim to, so I'm just going to head straight in here. Right now. What have we got down here? There's a big hole in the ground. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's where we got to go. Um, maybe not. Why is it telling me to go outside again? I just literally got here. I don't know. I'm going to try this foot tunnel. It says do not enter. Oh, I'm such a rebel. Because I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know if this is the right idea. Yeah, it's, it's desperately telling me to get upstairs and get out of here. That doesn't feel right. Ah, it's because we've got to go through the tunnel under the Thames. Oh, that, by the way, that is the Isle of Dogs. That island in the middle of the Thames on far on the east, and east side of the Thames. Okay, so we've got to go from Greenwich all the way over here to Millwall. Let's go. Oh, God, no. Careful now. Do not want to get trapped. Ugh. I don't know how to deal with this. Clearly, there's been a problem. Um, quick save. Hello? Hello? I don't know why my F5 button on the quick save ain't working. I'm going to... I'm going to run. Don't know if that was the right thing to do or not. Who cares? I'm still alive. Right now we're in trouble. We're taking rads. Whoa! A drowned ghoul. Okay, the nine mil. Uh, it's doing well, but I'm taking too much damage here. Nope, done. Dead. Right. Well, the quick save came at a really good time. I need to get the torch on, though. I can't see a damn thing in here. Oh, the torch was on, even after all that. Okay, how do I... How do I... How do I... I've got to protect myself somehow. I wonder if I just leg it. Or we back off and let them take the... Other oh! Done so much damage already! Oh, yes, I remember it, ghouls. Shoot me in the legs. Yeah, he's disabled. Just what I wanted. No, didn't help. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Go straight for the head. That was foolish. That was ghoulish. Right, now I can't see. Now I can't see. Oh, I thought I got away with it. Okay, a bit difficult to know where to go and what to do with this one. This is, um, this, this game has been punishing at the very beginning here. Oh, they took a little electric damage there. Ah, I'm not hitting anything. Run away! 
run away. Uh, can they get over this gap? Yep. All right, one down. And I'm still alive with seven bullets left. That's a terrible, a terrible uh, uh, return for my incredible bravery there. Um, I need to switch weapons because I'm already screwed. Uh, 32 pistol. Right. Well, we killed one of them. The rest of them seem still aggravated. Ugh. I'm not sure. I'm, go I'm gonna take a quick save. Oh, why is my F5 button not working? I don't know. Anyway. Quick save. We, at least we come back with one dead. Oh, two dead. Nice. That's a bonus. Now there were three, if I remember rightly. Oh, he's up there. Look at that. The poor drowned ghoul. Should we take his right leg out? I think so. Really need to do a better job. This is where VATS sometimes can, can totally screw you up. I think he was healing in the radiated water. Now... Uh, the electrocution thing might be a problem here. Um, I'm going to go for another quick... Oh, man. Quick save again. I have to use the pause button to do it. Let's see what you had, man. Where'd you go? Oh, tickets. No, don't drink that. Oh, good lord. You're just making everything worse. Let's just run. Oh, there's more of them. This is not good. You are now. I can't see a damn thing. I'm see I'm getting double vision. I don't know if that killed him or not. No, I can still see the red mark. I'm about to die if I don't. Oh, oh for the love. Alright, we got you. Three shots, straight in the chest. Oh, at least that's better. That's better. Okay, we're still taking huge amounts of radiation poisoning here. I can't afford much more. All right, we're back out. I think, I think, I think you stink. What? Where's there a way out? That a ladder? There's no ladder. This was supposed to be. It is a way out. I just. Okay, I gotta swim, and you can't see what I'm doing, neither can I. There we go. Huge amounts of radiation poisoning here. Uh Alright, another quick save. Let me hope for the best. Oh, this is horrible. The music is as an unnerving. As the environment. Oh, for God, no, what? What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> no! Oh. God, we got it. What is that? I can't even hit it from down here. Okay, back out, back out. What is that? Just go. Go, man. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with the controls here. I have got no clue. Shoot. What is it? Okay, there were two of them. I didn't realize. I was bound to get ripped to pieces there. This is so bad. I can't see anything. My torch is on, but they are definitely not normal ghouls. Those are what I would consider ghoulies. Okay, just hit a few, hit a few, just get a few hits. There we go. Backing off. No, we're out of rounds. Oh, good God, no. 
All right, one down, one down. Run away, run away. Come on, if you can get this. Okay, one down, two down. There's another one, isn't there? I know there's another one. I need aid. I need help. I need, I need Heinz baked beans. And a blood pack. Okay, that's, that's buying me some time here. Reload, reload this. I knew there was another one. Hit him in the torso. That's just shooting the water, mate. Oh, all three down. Is that all? Is that all you have? I don't need any more. That all, that's all. All is enough. Fuse. I don't want to drink any water. Thank you very much. I'll take the two tickets, though. Right, let's progress. We've got one bullet left. Oh, good God. I've made an absolute pig's ear of this, but at least I got through it. I had so many goes. I'm bringing out the walking cane. Nobody is going to take this this Brit with his walking cane and his stiff upper lip. Nobody is going to destroy me. Apart from the, the ghouls in this place, they will probably destroy me. Okay, I don't like this. I'm, I'm still in a lot of trouble here. I'm t still taking rad poisoning. I need... Oh, what do I need? I need to get out of the water. Oh, would you just get out of the water, man? Right, rads are off. Um... This is such a stupid idea. Why did I do this? Um, let's get Radex. Give ourselves a little protection. Skimmed milk. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll take that. Didn't seem to have done much at all. Oh, it's, I think it's slowly ticking down. Okay, I've got my rad poisoning. Oh, there's more, isn't there? All right, all right, all right. Let's just quick save here and press on. Fool as I am, I'm still hopeful. <gasps> oh. oh, God, no. All right, all right. Some dead mitten lurks. I love that, mitten lurks. Very deaded. Okay, not a complete disaster, but there could be so anything hiding around the corner. More of these little bloody egg piles. All right, all right, all right. Nothing, even enough art in. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. They're all dead. Oh, there's just more of them. Okay, come on, come on. Let's have it. Yeah. Alright, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Back off. Okay, no, I think that's it. I think that's it. Right, we need aid again. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just using up everything I've got. A sweet roll. A sweet roll. <laughs> More pink wafers are all gone. I've got to use it though, otherwise I'm not getting out of this tunnel. My god, this has been a, a, a baptism of fire. This game is 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 tough at the beginning. I mean, this mod, I should say. Do I just do I just go for it? No, they're gonna come out. It's like it doesn't matter if I have uh, the protection of foreknowledge, because they get me anyway. Oh, they bite hard. And they don't give me any resources. No meat, nothing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can hear you. Where, what? Was that a drum roll for completion or a drum roll for more threats up ahead? Take the leather bag. Take the... Oh, good God. Squirrel bits. I will take what I can get here. I've, I've, I've lost all my rad away. Uh, iguana bits, go on, why not? I need, I need just whatever health I can get. Oh, this is, this was, this was a big mistake. I should have leveled up or tried something else before I got here. Just go, 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 go. Head to London. 
We're out of the tunnel, people. This was a nightmare. I died about 10 times in that tunnel and I edited it all out because I didn't want to show you how terrible I am at this early stage of the game. But I think that's the point. This mod is supposed to be actually really tough. Certainly the beginning. But what I could have done to maybe have given myself an edge is actually explored a lot more and got some better weapons because let's, let's face it, the weapons I had were pants, weren't they? They were pants. Uh, and in Britain, when we say pants, we mean underwear, we don't mean trousers. All right. I love the fact that I beat them with a walking cane, though. You know, when I was at school, it was still okay to dish out what we called corporal punishment. And if a schoolboy was naughty, you would be taken to the headmaster and given the cane for your bad behavior. Right, I need to quick save here. I'm not, I'm not losing this progress now. Post box. Radex has worn off. Well, no surprise there. Uh, and we're supposed to... Oh, this is only the beginning of a mission. Just getting through that damn tunnel was enough. I think I don't have to go through it again, though, because I can fast travel as long as I find another fast travel spot. So we've got to head for the nearest building that gives me a discovered surely surely this is it there we go we've found the beef eater oh the fast fast food restaurant from the 70s the newsboy cat worker overalls our pass but we have got somewhere to come back to quick saving that should I, uh, I might, might raise my, um, what do they call it? What's it? <laughs> Too much salt is bad for you, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, the Brahmin hamburger. <laughs> what if I do? The kid's meal. Hello. Double cheese Brahmin burger. Man, this place was kicking ass. And what do you do? You're, you're a dead automatron. But there's got to be more food in here. The Brahmin meats. Oh, there's a lot of it. And it smells good. Bloke fly meat as well. Mongrel dog meat and a beer. Oh, this is, I'm in hog's heaven now. More kids' meals. Mushy peas. Oh, for those who don't know, fish, chips, and mushy peas, it's, it's a staple of the British diet. We don't eat anything else, actually. That and Marmite on toast. Or baked beans on toast. That's pretty much all we ever have. Uh, some more pink wafers. Love it. Oh, this was this is a loot cave. I'm not going to eat the cleaner. The, the, it's like the equivalent of the Abraxo cleaner. But I love it. Right, well, where are we actually going, though? Check the map here. This was a heroic mission. Very glad to have found the beef eater, though. Yep, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's calm down. Everybody relax. Are you guys friends? Okay. Syndicate. Syndicate oh, member. Oh, my head. I feel like my eyes are being pushed out my skull. Misery guts. Bother someone else. Okay. I'm happy to, as long as you don't kill me. Love the, the suit. The old whistle. I'm getting uh, Harley Quinn vibes, but she doesn't want to talk. What about you, Syndicate Pup? Woof woof. Oh, look at the parcels. Volts on instead of Amazon. The logo's pretty similar, though. All right, well, you, you were a waste of time. I really am looking for some for some shortcuts to leveling, but my my main problem is I'm not exploring the early areas of the game much at all. I'm just rushing on ahead and I think that might be my problem. Oh, I just saw that. It said a handmade trip wire and I just walked straight through it at the moment I spotted that's what it was. And there's another one. Oh. Uh. Okay, let's go over. And disarm. Does it, if we disarm, do we get a grenade? 
We get spring and gear. Oh, come on. Yous can do better than that. Right, quick save. There's some... There's bodies up ahead. Are they to be soon to be dead bodies? Or witnesses to my dead body? Oh, there she is! <coughs> my favourite COVID bound event. Hi, Vet. Oh, hello, stranger. How wonderful to meet you. Lovely day, isn't it? Lovely day? Perception? Why? I thought I had more perception. Uh, if it, you, why are you talking to, like, to me like that? It's me. I'm sorry, mate. I think you have me mistaken for somebody else. Nobody by that name here. Right, she's undercover. My apologies, silly me. What a mistake. No worries at all. So, what brings you here? Uh, one of our old friends sent me, wanted to make sure you're alright. Oh, you know, wanted to see the execution. Uh, the sights and sounds of Millwall. Just take a second to breathe it in. What a place. Oh, yeah. Yes, truly a scratch off the old bucket list. Congrats. Anyway, I'm actually very busy at the moment, so unless there's anything else... Yeah, I think she doesn't want me really talking to her like a friend. Uh, is there some place more private we could talk? Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're clear. What have Finally, they done with that face? Bloody guard moved out of earshot. We can drop the charade. Do you have any idea the amount of danger you put us in just now? Never mind. There's no time. I'm actually glad you're here. I was just about to sneak into where they're holding Uma and try and break her out. But it's a suicide mission without a proper distraction. Hmm. Why do I stupidly have a comment like, say no more? Violent distraction is my middle name. Come That's on. That's what I like to hear. See you at the safe house. Give him hell, Labrat. I'll take. I just wanted to do the conversation option because it gives me a load of XP. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's doing what? Why are you doing that? Right. You're all going down. Well, that lasted a while. Oh, here we go. Charity classic. Okay, this might help. Uh, hello, Yvette. Oh, hello, stranger. How wonderful to meet you. We've done Lovely this. Day, isn't it? Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Perception. Hello, love. Lovely day indeed. How are you holding up? I'm tip top. Thanks for asking. What brings you here then? Uh, sights and sounds of Millwall, me love. Yes, truly a scratch off the old bucket list. Congrats. Anyway, I'm actually very busy at the moment, so unless there's anything else, wait for it. Oh, she's waiting for and it. I knew she was waiting for finally, it. Finally, that bloody guard moved out of earshot. We can drop the charade. Do you have any idea the amount of danger you put us in just now? Never mind, there's no time. I'm actually glad you're here. I was just about to sneak into where they're holding Uma and try and break her out. But it's a suicide mission. Okay, we got this, we got this. So what do we do now? Say no more, violent distraction. I'm not sure I want to do this. Because I, it just ended in absolute misery. You seem more like the distraction type. Let me go in and break her out. What kind of distraction? Wait a minute, slow down. You're going to have to start from the beginning. Yeah, I could do with this. Hmm? Oh, fine. But we really have to make this quick. We're seriously running out of time. What do you want to know? I want to know why you've got a permanent joker smile. It's just, it's just a curiosity. I'm sure. Right, anyway, who is Uma? She's an old mate of mine. We go way back. Grew up causing mischief in the Tower Hamlets together. When we got older, and I'll run off to join the Vagabonds, she decided to stay behind and live a simpler life. We would catch up from time to time, but I'd have to sneak in and out on Millwall whenever I came to check on her. I guess the last time we spoke, I wasn't careful enough. Someone spotted us together and ratted her out to the dogs. But none of that matters at the moment. What matters now is getting her out of this mess I made. Can I, can I pause and turn down the thunder? Because I know there's a separate volume in the audio settings for thunder. Because it it's getting a little bit much. Uh, how many syndicate members are around? Only a few, but they're armed to the bleeding teeth. I think you can probably take them, but maybe find some cover first. Take them. I can take them. I can't take them. I just nearly died in a tunnel to three creatures who were pretty hard-hitting, to be fair. Where are they keeping Uma? There's a hole in the area in the building right at the edge of the square. I saw them bring her in there earlier today. There are probably a few guards patrolling in there, but if you're quiet enough, you could slip in and out undetected and head for the... Uh, that, that appeals to me right now. 
Uh... Finally. So, what would you rather do? I'd rather do the sneaking in. Sounds good. Be careful. Take good care of Uma. She's practically family, so don't screw this up. See you at the safe house. All right, my love. All right, my love. Quick save in here. Thank you very much. Wait for Yvette's distraction, but then what? But then what? What's she gonna do? Oh no, look, they're all running. Quick, run! There's a bomb! Is it, is it, is it an attack? Quick, attack! No, quick, don't attack. Okay, I think I've got to go in here. It's chained. Can't get in. I can't get in. Scram! Listen, you tight cunt. You do this every night. You'll get the first round in. I think that was my that was my chance to enter unnoticed. I would expect in a moment I'm about to be followed. I didn't I didn't realise that was the door. I thought it was around the back. Gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little Who? foolish. Oi, oh, hi. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, these guys are You've got these guys are tough. You know that. I've been yeah, I, I am oh I am not ready for this. I am not ready for this by a long mile. I can't I can't beat them to death with my cane. I've got one bullet. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. Uh Alright, we'll try with a we'll try with a knife then. Alright, Syndicate Dog. I could have snuck in and yeah, yeah, definitely not ready for this. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna sneak in unnoticed. Nobody would know. What was that? Oh god. He knows. So dead. Oi, oi. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Man is down. Shotgun is mine. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, wait a second. Suddenly the game has changed. I might have a means to embarrass myself in a different way. I've got five shells in here. But hold on. Quick save. Okay, okay, okay. This this actually this might just work. Mm? Oh, for God's sake. Come here, you shifty little shit. Shifty what? What'd you call me? <coughs> oh, that was straight in the face. All right, I think we've got a method. We just need to find a little more madness. Oi, oi. Okay, reload, reload. Uh, straight in the chest. In the bird's nest. Oh, the man is down. Surely he's down. Surely he's down. He's down. Whoo! Free the prisoner is done. That was tough, man. I'll take the syndicate suit just to humiliate the guy and leave him naked. Uh, got any good food for me? A tea station. What can we make? We can make all kinds of tea. Oh my god! There's a tea crafting station in the game. Out of order. Never put. Never put the milk in first. That is truly out of order. Sorry, people. This is this has been a uh, a oh, labour. All right, Uma. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Thurman. Um, there's nothing else here. Honestly, I was expecting a prize. The the the, the prize is surprise. I'm useless. Right, anyway, hi. What's going on? Who the hell are you? I'm not entirely sure at this point. It's... It's been a long day. I'm friends with the vet. She sent me here to get you while she distracts the guards. No time to talk, just follow me. Follow me if you want to live. I love that. What a brave line. I'll explain later. Just wait here a second. Something I need to take care of first. Yeah, that's, that ain't gonna fly either. I'm gonna die doing this. All right, look, I'm friends with a vet. Oh, thank God. I knew she would come through for me. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't get too excited. You, you're you're going to die in a minute. Not. Ah. Okay. This I've got. 
Alright, have you got any weapons in here? Because I'm a little short. Uh, I mean, there's no comment on my height. I mean, I've, I've got nothing. Burnt magazine, burnt magazine. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I've got to try. we basically got to go and run for the hills. As long as they're not coming from the hills. If that's the case, we run away from the hills. Just basically run away. Got it? You got me, Uma? Are we ready to leave with the utmost bravery? She's with me, she's with me. Okay, this is this is actually not a bad start. Got a quick save here. Ah! Well, hello. This guy's still smoking. That's a little mean. Okay, thankfully. Boiled sweets, razor grain, double barrel shotgun, a shopping bag. Uh, before we continue... Yorkshire pudding! Oh, that's it. It's a staple diet. It's this official report, DLR line vandalism. Oh, good lord, it's a long one. Millwall Police Station. Vandalism. I'm not sure I've got the patience to read this. But it's up there on the screen. But if you want to pause it and have a little look-see. More weapons, more bullets. She's... she's been busy. Uh, a nice pair. No offence, mate. And an electrified police truncheon. Oh my god, that is the new nickname for my... <clears throat> blueberries, mate. Blueberries. <laughs> That's brilliant. Power Rico, uh, relay coil. We're good. Oh, look at all the... You are... You have turned up. If you hang around, we're not, not. We need the numbers. Look, I've got rounds now. I'm I'm actually bad and dangerous again for a moment. Uh, what else have I got here though? The electric police truncheon is also a euphemism that I love. Uh, makeshift knife, scope the head trigger to crude, the crude gun. Just, just not doing it. Um, but the police truncheon. Oh my. Uh, we'll stick it with the melee weapons or one of the melee weapons over here. Lovely. All right, shall I whip out my truncheon, ladies? Come on. I know you want to see it. Oh, yes. It doesn't look very electric from here, but that's okay. Uma, thank God you're alive. Great work, lab rat. I'll take her from here. Let's split up and draw their fire in opposite directions. We'll meet you back at the safe house. Perfect, right. You run that way towards the danger. I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Meet you back at the safe house. Can I just, like, fast travel? Is that too cowardly? Probably. Do you know what? Don't really care. Back to the safe house. Back in time for tea and medals. I must say, I'm impressed so far. It's a, it's a proper full-on Fallout experience. Um, but I, I am doubting the safety of the safe house, but I'm sure, I'm sure they know what they're doing. I love the lighting. A little bit digitized, but that might just be my graphic settings, even though they're ultra people. Oh, very safe. Carefully hidden behind the ivy garden. It's beautifully done. I would never have known to look. We did it. I can't believe we pulled it off and we're all back in one piece. My heart is literally beating out of my chest. You should have seen how those syndicate dogs scattered when the bomb went off. Like little puppies leaving trails of piss behind them as they ran. It was beautiful. I've got to be honest, I was not thrilled to see you when you first showed up. But I'll be damned if you didn't save the day. Thank you. I, I have to mention, by the way, the thumbnails I'm going to be putting in these episodes. They are horrific clickbait. And it's not, it's only because I've, it's so hard to get decent thumbnails and it always was for Fallout games. So I'm feeding in a load of stuff to, to Dally or ChatGPT just to say, look, look just, just give me a, an apocalyptic London background and I'll put a description of the character I want to show at the time. And the last thumbnail I put, I described this lady and well, obviously, obviously. There's a vast difference between the way that thumbnail looked and that. No offense. 
It's an old engine. It's an old game. Um, but there is something weird about the corners of her mouth. It's got nothing to do with the game. And I, I, I look, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's just, look, bear in mind, the thumbnails have got to look good. And I'm not going to get him from screenshots of the game. No offense. Love the game. Fallout London people love you too. Anyway, um, anything to piss off the dogs. Bet your ass. We took out a good lot of them too. Serves them right for setting up my girl. We better lay low for a little while though. They're going to be looking for revenge as soon as they can get it. Good to hear your voice gone. And thanks to our trusty lab right here, me and Uma are alive and kicking. Over. Ah, oh, it's not gone. It's Johnny. Christ, it's good to hear your voice too. You guys shouldn't have run off like that. Go one best pleased. Threw a chair at Nelson, he did. Yeah, they're right here beside me. Over. Oi, lab rat. Nice work out there today. I think I'll speak for everyone on this end of the microphone when I say you finally proved yourself loyal to our little family. Uh, I better come back to see what Gorn has to say, though. Better get your bums back to the swan when the heat dies down. O over and out. Over. Over. Alright, sounds like we're the, uh, well, I, actually. I'd like to say we, but you had nothing to do with it. You're just watching. <laughs> I. I'm now a local hero amongst the vagabonds. I love this though. I'll take the money. And a cigarette card. Oh, are these collectibles? Cigarette cards, wild animal number 43. Oh, that's kind of cool. What have we got? Is that a platypus? It's a duck-billed platypus. One of the most unique creatures, I think, on the planet. It has webbed feet like a, a, a bird. It's a mammal and it lays eggs. I don't think anyone's quite been able to explain how it was ever, it ever came to be. It's, <laughs> anyway, that is not the point. I will see you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching this one. Uh, it was a little tricky at times, but we got through it. And, uh, well, you have to do difficult things in life sometimes to be able to ascend to the next level. All the very best. Take care and good night.